this game it's just incomprehensible it's the best game I ever played in my life the more I play it the ten times truer it gets I just took a quest from like a slender man slash golem guy and like who thinks of this stuff like I feel like I've traveled across the entirety of Ukraine playing this video game I want to check inside here it looks interesting there's probably like loot I just step on a mine why would this be mined? Why would this be protected by mines? That's weird. That's kind of stupid. Ah! What the fuck? I did not expect that. No wonder he's the one who put the mines out. Why is my right eye sore? What the fuck? I don't like that. Do I have a tumor behind my eye? Oh god. Do I have another one? How come I only have gotten these in Florida? It's like a pimple on my eyelid. I've gotten like three of these in Florida since being here. What the fuck? I didn't even know this was possible. It's an eye, eye limpo. I, it, Oh, I know who this is. I don't know who this is. His name is God, though. People have mentioned him. Why can't I exit his... Why can't I exit? I'm pressing escape right now. I've never seen that before. God, this game's so fucking awesome. This would be a good place to hang out and smoke weed. You think it'll make a bell sound? Uh, this game sucks. Never mind, everybody uninstall it. JK. This game is so good. It's the best game I ever played. It truly is. Look at all the quests I've completed. There's like 30 open world zones, vehicles, tractors, storage chests, bases, where you store all your stuff, merchants, perks, perks, look at these perks. I should put more into barter. Nah, I don't need to put more into barter. The game has been like freakishly well balanced, like I still, there's still stuff I want to buy. And I'm still trying to save money and I'm still filling my trunk with thousands of rifles and selling them and it's so much fun. It's so good. Where is my car? Yeah, where's my car? This is why I can't make videos. Oh, there it is. I really like the way the game looks in 8 times speed. I have it tied to the question mark here. Why am I dying right now? There's like four different car models that I own already. And there's, I, apparently you could like drive a UAZ, which is like a tank. But I haven't found it yet. Oh, there's, there's a stash right here. Every time you interact with dead bodies, there's an RNG chance it'll go bloop. And it will um, fill a stash with goods. Sometimes you'll find stashes in the game world without um, finding the dude first, but it'll be empty. You have to find the dude. Ooh, I'll get 10 grand from the fucking guy in Yenta, or maybe even more. Which is a lot, considering I only have like 30 grand on me. Oh, I have 70 grand actually, I'm actually kind of set. The most I've ever had at once was 160 grand, but I upgraded all my shit and all my armors. This game's so incomprehensibly good. This quest was kind of hilarious. You have you had a piece of a ripped pit note, and it said 59 on it. And like, the whole big thing was to find the other half of the note for the code, for the four digit code. And I was thinking to myself, isn't that kind of stupid? That would be 99 guesses at most. Maybe I should tell the developer that that's a stupid quest. 
But apparently this unlocks a bunker or something somewhere that I never was able to open in my first playthrough because I never found the other dude. He's at the guy, you know, when you protect the mercenaries with a turret, the only there's waves of enemies and a captain dude. It's in the old road map. And um, there's a guy that just, he's a part of the crew and you just have to, well, apparently you're supposed to talk to him and get the code, but like, they were all crouched at the end of the mutant wave and they never like returned to their daily like duties. So I just shot him in the head and he had the code on him. It wasn't a piece of paper, it was just like a, a PDA thing that went bloop. And then I opened my inventory and the paper was like magically complete now. Alright, uh... I should put that in the trunk and sell it. Look at this armor I just found behind a couch. Telepathy minus 30. I've never seen a negative stat on an item before. And, like, each outfit will have, like, a perk or something cool as well. That, like, I could do something. Like, I right now I have purple beads on. Which gives you plus 20% base movement speed, plus 30% sprint speed, and plus 75% jump height. Right here, purple beads. And that I didn't find those purple beads until, like, 250 hours in. And it changes everything. I can jump over little fences now. I can... It's just everything's so much better with those beads. He should just give the player those beads at the start of the game, because you kind of run 20% too slow by default. Now it's perfect. Honestly, when I was first playing this game, I was like, this is the most flawless game I've ever played. I was like, if I could change one thing about this game, I would make the movement speed just 20% faster, that's it. And then it would be the most flawless masterpiece of a game ever. And what do you know, I found these beads, and now it is. It's the perfect run speed. Let's go to that stash now. Wait, we just got gas, too. Look at the headlights. This, they're two real headlights. So like if there's a guy and you drive close to him, he'll cast two shadows on the wall behind him. It's just such a good fucking game. It's so authentic. If it takes a 20 year old game engine to be able to do all this, then that's what it takes. That's, in my opinion, this is the highest quality video game I've ever played. And if it takes an old game engine to make a world this big and run great, then that's what it takes. This is only 5 gigabytes. It looks better than AAA games. Why are AAA games like 100 gigabytes? Like, what the fuck? Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, my brain always, like, defaults to chasing the, um... There's a stash nearby. Hold on. So I don't piss you off. God, this game is so gorgeous. And I have everything, like, on lowest. Just as an experiment, and it still looks great. What's going on over there? See, I'm so ADD. This game's so interesting. This guy's a badass. Oh, I should put that gas tank in my trunk. It weighs 10 pounds. 10 kg. And let's loot these boys that this guy just killed. There's just one. Wasn't there like three? Bodies in this game don't disappear. They stay there like forever. Well, that's not true. They, di they do disappear after like a month. It's the finest video game I've ever played in my life. Oh, and don't... I'm, I'm still learning shit. Don't shoot boars in the head. They're, they have very resistant heads. And I learned that from a tip from a guy. I thought the game was just... Had really bad, like, damage numbers for the, en for the enemies. But it's not. It's perfect. And, like, just through playing, I've, I've found solutions to all the things that, like... I was having issues with. Like, okay, like, the, t um, the anomaly shits... I now have like good anomaly protection. There's so it's such a good game. I love turning off the UI. Lean left, right, crouch, low crouch. You have to press walk to low crouch, and that's not really listed anywhere. Because there's a quest where okay, there's the beginning of the game is kind of shit. I'm not gonna lie. The first like six hours of the game is ass. 
Because there's this one quest where you have to like sneak into this place and it's like every footstep you take is wrong and it's like you have to hug the fence and you have to steal the military documents. It's like the worst made quest of all time. God, this game's so cool. And you're not the main character, you're just one guy in this epic... I have a feeling there's an anomaly over there. I mean an artifact. Look at the artifact detector I found. S it detects 62 different kinds of artifacts. The one I had before this only could detect 13. I found this in a stash. That's why I've been putting points into Survivor, which is an RNG chance of every time you interact with a dead human body, it'll go bloop. And then this, a stash somewhere on the map will show. It'll be purple. Is that barbed wire? What is that? This game's so fucking interesting. It's like a trap of some sort. Alright, we're gonna need some rad protection. I think this suit is very good in rad protection. And look at the beads I have. Plus 20%. Plus 20%. Plus 26 rad protection. Jesus Christ. And then these... You might get confused about like radiation minus five. What does that mean? What that means is you can now equip perks that have radiation plus four. You see that? So as long as my radiation on my belt, radiation minus five, this gives radiation plus four. So if I took this off, I would start gaining radiation right now. So as long as your radiation resistance is over the neck, this game is so good. It's the best game I've ever played in my life. I'm like 300 hours in. And I still haven't seen like 40% of the game zones. It's colossal. It, it's huge. Just, just comprehending like where I started this game like makes me nauseous just thinking about it. Like that was like a lifetime ago. There's a stash in here somewhere and I can't find it. What the fuck? Alright, good thing I didn't really accomplish anything besides looting those boars which is really not important should I equip something oh wait a minute 120 seconds of rad protection oh oh I thought that was a swamp beast I was gonna loot it swamp beast knows itself for like three grand I love filling up my car trunk man and then there's also fast travel guys too but they only open up. They'll be too scared to go somewhere unless you do. Like, oh shit, there it is, right there. We got it, let's get out. But like after you do a main quest line, like now they'll travel you fast travel you to Dark Valley. It's the best game I've ever played in my life. The, nothing about this game feels like a mod. It's, it's a campaign. It's a good AAA game. It's like, there's nothing that feels mod about this game. If you turn the lighting distance all the way down, which I did, those things don't really render right. If they go too far away. But if you turn up the lighting distance, they'll be good. This game is so cool. Whoa, no, not cool. That was not cool. It made me thirsty, that bomb. Just kidding. My suit should protect me from bleeding. It my bleeding might Yeah, and look! It works! That's crazy. I'm glad I bought that upgrade. Look at all the upgrades I purchased for this suit. It cost me like 60 grand. Oh cool. It shows it's worth now. It's worth more now. 86 grand. Wow, it's in bad condition. That's not very durable. Suit Dura plus 40%. I need to repair it. You never want to let your armor get into the red. Then he won't even repair it anymore. And it's just you might as well throw it in the garbage. I think you might be able to use repair kits in that situation though. Like you could use a repair kit on two different broken weapons. Like this game has everything, dude. You could take two broken weapons and like make one weapon have more Dura. But they have to be similar weapon types. So what was in that stash? A flesh eye. 
I don't really know. Uh oh, well, it's just a mediocre stash. Is my, is my audio... Is my mic on? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's save it, because we got the stash. Alright, so I need to go there. Trash can. I love the stashes. Oh wait, there might be enemies in here. There was enemies, like, occupying one of the buildings in the outskirts. Dude, this game also has terrifying easter eggs and shit, like... Oh, you see the number 7 under my minimap in the top left? That means there's 7 stalkers within my PDA Bluetooth range. Dude, this is like the fifth base I've like brought all my stuff to, and I'm like thinking that it, this is gonna be the place where I chill for the whole rest of the game. This game is so fucking colossal and good. Look how beautiful this looks. I'm in love with this game. It's the best game I ever played in my life, just plain and simple. In fact, I can't even play it because I'm so stoked on recording it and like talking about it. Alright. There's got to be a way we get... Oh, look. Wait, what's going on? Everything all right? Oh, what, okay. And I love this star... Dude, I've been seeing thousands of those messages in the bottom left corner, and I've never seen two of the same ones. Never. Like, who wrote those? That's crazy. Hold on. Why, why is this not working? This game's ladders are cancer. Alright, now I can low crouch. Alright, perfect. Yeah, make sure you have walk set to a key, because you're going to need to do that. So, you crouch, and then now if I press the walk button, low crouch. It's very important. for, for Well, it's not very important. There's just one quest in the beginning of the game where you need to climb in a window, and you can't unless you do that. And it's just crazy to me, because it's right at the start of the game. It's like, wow. That's enough to, like, halt the player's playthrough right there. Like, what? <coughs> More petrol. Wait a minute, where's my petrol can from the other thing? What? Wasn't there a petrol can in there? Wait, I didn't loot that? Am I just not saving my progress? Is that what's happening? I could have sworn there was a petrol can in that one with the flesh eye. Let's get my car. What are we doing? I'm like walking around with like overburdened shit. Like an absolute goofball. That guy, like, if you talk to the guide in this church, it takes you to like a dream sequence. I got a quest from, like, this Gollum slash Slenderman guy before. Very tall. It was so creepy. <clears throat> Alright, okay. Oh, shit. Ooh, these things sell for, like, three grand at Lake Anton. The cat head. And it has a very high chance, too, of proccing it. There's more of them. I don't like how the bushes slow your movement speed down. It's realistic, but I don't like it. Like, for example, like, if you're in a bush and you want to jump over a fence, you can't, like, in a bush you can't jump well. Look. It's like a short jump. Look, they're fighting in the ch on the chat. <coughs> Ah. I need more water. 
Damn, I have so much gas. The car maintenance is very cheap, which was not always the case. But I'm glad that in Lost Alpha Revisited, the gas is cheap and plentiful, and the repair kits are cheap and plentiful. And just one use repairs the car to 100%. And each repair kit has three uses, so it's like... And it's only cost two grand, so it's like you can just buy like five of them and just be done for the rest of the game. Like, you'll never need to buy another repair kit. But these are heavy, the petrol cans. That's the only downside. They're fucking heavy. I can't believe I found this armor behind a couch. Like, that would cost me like 60 grand from a buyer, probably. Alright. Sorry. That's it? I got all of them? Alright, let's return to Veronin. That's the thing, that's after we did X7, we have to go back to Veronin. I love this fucking game. And I love seeing like artifacts too, like bouncing and bobbling across the road. Oh, if you're gonna play this game, <clears throat> use Special K Tool. It has a profound effect on the frame latency and the overall just smoothness feel of the game. You have to turn the game's vsync off. Um, run Special K Tool as an administrator. And then go to monitor. There's like a monitor section in Special K Tool. And then click force on. And you have to make sure um, full screen mode is disabled and vsync is disabled in stalker settings. Oh shit, this is not the way I should go. I should put a warning right there. Nah, fuck it. You could put down custom map markers. <clears throat> this is only one little village out of like 30 maps in this game. Like, it's so good. Alright, I'm gonna shut up now. Look at that adorable little house. I wanna look inside of it. I wanna look inside everything. This game's too good. Ooh, this looks like a good place to park. Oh, of course. Dude. I'm getting sick of these fucking anomalies everywhere. This is my favorite game of all time, but like, it seriously is like, Minesweeper. It's like the whole game world is just covered with these anomalies. That can break your car, fling it into the air, carry you up a hundred feet in your car in the air as you're looking at the map like de-rendering below because you're so you're getting launched so high a thousand feet I mean not a hundred feet I like to aim my car at the building I'm about to go in and then go in it and like it just looks so so much better so you turn the engine off but you don't need to turn the car headlights off I realize because there's no like battery level or anything so the headlights are free to just leave on but you don't want to leave your car running then it, it will consume gas but you can, there's a little trick you could use where if you're driving full speed, just turn off the car. And it'll roll for a really long time. And it doesn't consume gas. But like, gas is so cheap and plentiful now, it doesn't, it doesn't really apply anymore. I mean, it's still, it's still cool. When you're in a car in this game, enemies can't aggro you. They don't, you're essentially invisible. And it's just kind of the way that games work, because like, it, it has something to do with, I don't know why, but it's, like in multiplayer games, like, the player's position on the map wouldn't be updated in a vehicle. Like, I've seen this before, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why it's like that, but I've seen it before. Like, I'm familiar with it. It's funny how all these different games made by different companies all, like, almost like have the same, like, shortcomings and downsides. And, like, they all have water underneath the map. Look, every single game, like, I've ever played ever has water underneath the map everywhere. And it's underneath the map here too. I just can't get it to render. It's being culled. It's just weird how game worlds are all very like similar yet different. Like every game engine ever has water underneath it. Like if you look under floor there's water underneath it. Like it's weird. It's like games have to have a sea level? Like I, I don't understand it. 
Which is very weird, Illuminati shit. And then whenever you like try and contact AAA developers or like talk to them, I'm not res I'm not referring to this game at all. I'm completely not talking about at this game at all right now. But like, have you ever tried to like contact like AAA game companies or like offer a suggestion? And it's like you're talking to a wall. That's why sometimes I think video games are all made by the same exact one company that that has the power to do it. And it's like an Illuminati controlled fucking thing. Uh, I can't believe we're back and running. Alright, I'm gonna stop recording so I can focus and enjoy myself and play for the whole rest of the day. Alright, thanks for watching.